My name is Thomas Maurer and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft and I'm going to show you how you can use Azure Backup directly within Windows Admin Center. Okay, I'm here connected to one of my application servers using the RTP extension within Windows Admin Center and you can see I have some highly important data running on that system. So I want to make sure that this is backed up in case of a disaster or just data corruption. So I can configure Azure Backup directly from Windows Admin Center. So I click on Backup and then set up Azure Backup. And it will guide me through a couple of steps I need to configure. So first thing I need to obviously log in to the Microsoft Azure portal. Um, since I already registered my Windows Admin Center server, this is already done. The next thing I will need to configure Azure Backup. So I will, it will ask me for the right subscription. And then it will let me choose to uh, a, use a recovery vault and a resource group. So I can choose an existing one. If I don't have one, it will automatically create a new one for me. And then I can also choose the location or the Azure region where I want to back up to. The next step will be selecting the right items uh, I want to back up. So I can do a system state backup, but I can also say I want to uh, back up the complete drive and it will also give me um, the default schedule I want to do that. The only thing I need to do is to give it the encryption phrase um, to encrypt my data. This is by the way very important. Um, if you lose that key, you will not be able to basically restore the data if the server is gone. So I click on apply and this will now set up all the services in Azure. It will create a new resource group, it will create a new recovery vault. Uh, it will install the Azure backup agent on my server and configure Azure backup and then start the first backup as well. So with that, I want to give it some time and I will come back to you um, after that is done. Okay, so the backup configuration is now done. It installed the Azure Backup Agent, it configured our backup policy, uh, created all the necessary Azure services, and I can see here that it is now ready to backup. So it will now start with the next scheduled um, time here, but I can also trigger uh, the backup right now if I want to do it. So this is basically what I can do uh, with Azure Backup. I then can browse my recovery points and I can use the Azure Backup Management Console basically to restore files on that system.